All right, guys, this is one of my regular customers. Um, he has maintenance with me, and but I, he called me out last, it's been a while. Um, for a no cool, and it was his fan motor it was bad. So we put a fan motor and it was extremely noisy. We put a universal, um, and it was extremely noisy. So I came back the other day and I put a brand, another brand new motor and it's noisy. So I'm thinking the only other thing it can be is the blade. So I got an OEM blade there and uh, I'm going to pop the cover off that contactor and let y'all listen to it. All right, let's give her a listen. This is a new contactor that I put on too. got to be something with the blade because there's no way that I hit two bad motors in a row. So let's pop it off and uh, all right, we'll take this off and uh, change the blade and hopefully that'll solve the problem because I just, I just can't see hitting two, two motors, you know, back to back like that. Let me get a measurement on this. Seven, seven and three eighths. Let me make sure y'all can see. Y'all should be able to. This looks like a nice, much nicer blade. Get that uh, seven, what did I say? Seven and three eighths, yeah. That's it right there, seven and three eighths. We're on one of the smooth surfaces of the shaft. Let's see what that does. Hopefully that'll cure it. Disconnect back in. Nope, that's the wrong way. Like that. Very cool. What do you know? Quiet.
That is the mouse. Air blowing straight up in my face. And she's quiet. All right. And he's not home. He's at work. He works nights. But I told him I could do everything outside. So, all right. Good, good, good. I'm happy to, happy to see and hear that. All right, guys. Well, that's it. It must not be caught. Obviously, it's not calling for cool right now. But I'm really glad to see that uh, that that solved the problem. Because, you know, we changed out a bad condenser fan motor. And then you, you got noise. And then you go get another motor. And, you know, because it did sound like the motor. So, but anyway, this one's good to go. Hey guys, um, so I wanted to end this video with, that's the second, uh, that's the second fan blade I've done today. I went back to that ring where we changed the motor a, f a few videos ago and um, we still had the noise, but the customer decided to be a helicopter this time. He didn't stay under the carport and talk with my wife like he normally does. He wanted to come over there and talk to me and then try to tell me how to do my job. You know, when I was putting the top back on, he was like, oh, watch them wires right there. And, you know, just being a major helicopter. So anyway, but I wanted to let you guys know that I did put the new blade on that ream unit from a couple videos ago and it cured the problem. The problem has completely went away. A lot of you guys were saying, add a double pole contactor, add a three pole contactor. And I know what y'all are talking about, and I know the video that Joe Shear did, but I wasn't having a noise like that but just because. I had that noise because the hub on the fan blade was bad. Now, if it would have been, an, now if it would have still been doing it after the blade, then I would have said, yeah, okay, we got another issue. Let's put a double pole contactor or a three pole contactor and separate the compressor and the fan or whatever. But that's what, that's what a lot of you guys were telling me to do. And, there was no reason for me to do that. The hub on the blade was bad and the, the new blade cured it. I mean, she's whisper quiet when she shuts off now, except you just hear the scroll compressor just to, just a slight when it shuts off, that's it. But that boom or whatever it was doing, it's gone. The fan blade totally cured it and the fan blade cured this job too. Again, he called me out and uh, we changed out the fan motor because it was bad. It was a no cool call, but it was noisy. And I told him, I was like, all right. I said, look, it's working. I'll be back with another motor. Came back a couple days later with a new motor. Same thing. I said, well, it's got to be the blade. And y'all just saw the blade cured it. So, all right. I just wanted to add that to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.